Ladies and gentlemen, it was my theory in 2015 that they were using politics and absolute bullshit to keep you distracted. And for the last two years, all y'all have talked about is politics. And for the last six weeks, you guys spent every minute fiddling about the Kavanaugh hearing and how horribly women are treated and guess what on the eve of getting hit by a category four or five hurricane and then sergio hitting mexico and pouring more moisture into the desert southwest we have 337 rivers flooding the hurricane hasn't even hit yet it's gonna hit and then move up the east coast right over these flooding rivers so as your planetary defense commander like i don't even know what to say and you know i'm not taking it out on you guys because the majority of you guys are awesome and i think a lot of you understand that i'm correct and this is i don't like i don't even man you can down thumbs all you want cognitive dissonance i started yelling at the end of the video when i saw this Cause I don't even know what to say because that's my whole thing like look dude if the world is gonna end why torture the public up until the end that just seems like you're gonna bring a lot of bad karma to yourself from that man so yeah we're looking at 337 rivers flooding And, and I guess the fact that not a lot of effects have happened to New York and Los Angeles, who are 90% of all the media, that's why they don't talk about it, or technically because the same people who own your government own your media, and there are very few of them are American. Sorry to tell you, the military industrial complex and the oil industry own everything, and they run everything. So yeah, definitely, definitely you can um, bet on oil hitting 100 bucks before Christmas. So yay for that. But for you know, this is why I had a job where I did audio visual audio visual work for civil trial lawyers, and I made 15 bucks an hour sitting in the office and doing whatever I wanted to, or 35 dollars an hour in trial. And that during trials, I would work 60, 70, 80 hours a week. So I'd get like $4,000, $5,000 paychecks. I have five grand in my bank when I quit that to inform everyone that the weather was going to become super unstable and that we had to come together as one American family and one Earth family to deal with these American Earth or the whole Earth changes. And th so this is what like. Because uh, I say, if we don't come together and change the way we do things, we're going to die. And so, Hurricane Michael hasn't even hit yet. And if that wasn't bad enough, like, look at the, see where the, all these rivers are? Those are the, those are the warnings. And that, that is going to track over the flooded out land. And I don't know if you, I mean, if you're a conspiracy person and the Edgar Casey maps, you know, people are like, oh, that's crazy. And I'm like, no, dude, I mean, I, I don't think you understand. I've worked for a lot of sectors. I've met a lot of really rich people, famous people. I don't know, apparently they think I'm smart or cool or something or just fascinated in a weird way. So I've talked, and this is over like the last 10 years, I've got to talk to a lot of people. And um, some you know, people have been preparing. You know, there's a lot of hot real estate in Northwest Canada. You know, Australia, like the super rich people, they ain't making they ain't making a lot of plans for you. Technically, they might even be doing what they can to distract you. But there are different versions of the map, but it basically shows the Great Lakes falling in from the BP spill to the methane sinkhole to the Oklahoma earthquake epicenter all the way up to the Great Lakes. 
And so if you flip from that to that, you know, it doesn't sound so crazy now, does it? And so at this point, I don't even know what to say. I mean, literally, the Democrats wheeled out a lady to make an accusation with no evidence. You guys spent 33 days talking about it, and then that guy still got confirmed. And what I couldn't figure out is, didn't they know ahead of time pretty much that they, they wouldn't have had the votes to stop it? So they literally spent 33 days wasting all of America's time at a time where people needed to be concentrating on the weather. So you have 337 river levels flooding. And you have this major storm, which is going to hook up with a major hurricane. And then we got more problems in the ocean. You got, well, like I said, you got Sergio bringing more rain. You got a 20% chance of this developing. You've got this massive system off of Africa rolling out. You've got Leslie, who some models have been showing bouncing back to the United States. So I don't, you know, that's so why at this point, I don't even. I think I'm going out and drinking tonight, you know? So if you want to donate and contribute to Thor News, man, fantastic. I don't think you're going to be able to use your whole 401k anyways, you know? If we do survive this, it's not going to be in the same form we do it now where we bend over on that corporation's ramrod us day or night. And remember, this is what I had talked about before where there's this thing called dead peasants insurance where they corporations can insure their employees for like they can take a thirty thousand dollar employee that makes thirty thousand a year and if he gets killed they make four hundred thousand dollars and they had they've spent billions on this so <clears throat> corporations stand to make a whole lot of money. Like if Michael does do cat five and kills ten thousand people, you know if three thousand of those are insured, it's like a billion dollar payday for them. So yeah, I don't know man. We got caught with our pants down and our heads up our butts. Somehow social media and smartphones made everything they, they know everything. So, you know, yeah, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't even, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. I have been an all American hero standing on the wall, warning everyone for six years. My anniversary technically is on November 23rd. And so as a Christian man who does not judge Democrats or Republicans or atheists or people who worship Mohammed or whatever that Islam, you're all my brothers and sisters and we're all the children of God and I have done the best job I can, so if the giant tidal wave comes and kills me tomorrow, I am okay to go meet God. But to spend like the last year or two of our lives just screaming at each other is the dumbest, worst, most, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Anyway, so yeah, smoke them if you got them, bro. And um, definitely ban it, Cuddle. I may go from having the highest standards for women in the world to like just dropping to zero. And who, who knows how much time we have left with electricity. Now is the time to wake up. So we, people are like, oh, vote. You gotta, we gotta, you know, if you don't like 337 rivers flooding, vote. If you don't like getting hit by multiple hurricanes, vote. You don't have all your scientists show up with a bullhorn yelling climate change in your face. And I bet a lot of them think they have a spot in the bunker. But I think a lot of people are going to find out being told you have a spot in the bunker is not the same thing as having a spot in the bunker or in the Hover City in, or the Ocean Ball. or Yeah, okay. I don't, know, I don't know to say what, like, I don't know, half my all my subscribers could leave. Uh, that's all I'm doing is bring you guys the truth. 
again and again and again and again and again and again. And if you notice, like the biggest channels, at least in like, it's like if I'm super pro Democrat or I'm super pro Republican, you get huge, you get paid, no problems. If you're, if, if you're like the five or six of us who've been bringing you guys the truth, we've had nothing but problems. Hackers, you wouldn't even believe it, man. If I told you the stories, you wouldn't believe me. Anyway, so, so yeah, just do your best to enjoy life. And I guess if you want to think you're far superior because you're dumbass believing in one political party over the other at a time where they threw us under the bus into the volcano and into the ocean, I guess go for it. It's still a free country. Maybe we have time to unite. I don't even know, but like I said, I don't know. It's going to take a great cataclysm, and I guess that's coming. So it's like, as I've been, I don't know, this piece of real estate doesn't seem that safe, but I'm sure the super rich have already bought out the areas and they've contour mapped when everything falls in and shit. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. I love you. And stay cool. God bless everyone.